<laughs> this is about the meanest baseball player ever, uh, Ty Cobb, and uh, I understand we were just talking about the Tigers right before the show, and kind of underachieving, but um, hope for the best here. Kevin was going to give us uh, updates on the game, which we'll start in about a half hour or so. Around the turn of the last century, a young man came up from the minor leagues. He was a little bit pitbull and part piranha. He said, please play fair. He said, I don't want to. Used to sharpen up his spikes before every game. He went from felonious assault to the Hall of Fame. Hey, Ty Cobb, we remember you. Oh, the year was 1912, when the Georgia Peach went to the stands. Beat the heck out of a heckler who didn't even have any hands. But he was an imposing figure when he stood at the plate. Sometimes you don't have to be good to be great. Hey, Ty Cobb, we remember you. In 1911, he was MVP, but during his whole career, he was an SLB. He was a prolific hitter in more ways than one. He had 4,191 hits before his career was done. And for 22 years, he was the pride of the Detroit franchise. And those allegations that he fixed games never materialized. He retired in 1928, died in 1962, just six months before. Pete Rose made his National League debut. He actually died in 1961, but it, but it didn't rhyme. <laughs> hey, Ty Cobb, we remember you. And maybe Babe Ruth's in heaven out in right field. Lou Gehrig's in heaven in first base. Cy Young's in heaven standing tall on the mound. Ty Cobb was probably in another place, but hey, Ty Cobb, we remember you. And sometimes the people who recognize most in history were just rotten through and through. 